In this video, I hope to show four modifications that can be conducted on a BC-348. Before you start this, keep in mind that vacuum tube radios produce potentially lethal voltages, and no one should attempt to restore or modify anything without proper knowledge of that working environment. The BC-348 is a very fine receiver in its original condition. If you have one that is unmodified, please try to keep it that way. This radio had been modified years ago, so I've decided to take it apart rebuild it and put in the favorite modifications from the 1948 CQ surplus conversion manual. These modifications include the installation of AC power supply, changes to audio circuit, new antenna connector, and an S meter. The new AC power supply is located where the dynamotor deck originally sat in the back of the radio. The S meter circuit is located on the front where the dial dimmer lamp knob was. You can see the new coaxial connector for the antenna. And we'll go ahead and open the radio up. Slide it out of its case. And look in detail at the power supply. This power supply differs a little bit from the original 1948 circuit in as much as I'm using a 6x4 tube instead of the 5y3 tube that the CPQ conversion manual suggests. You can see the 6x4 tube in the choke and power transformer there. Try to keep the original terminal strip for bringing your voltages out and remember to include the B- dropping resistor. The original audio output transformer was a high impedance transformer. It was missing in this radio when I bought it. That's been replaced with a low impedance 3 ohm output transformer for driving a regular speaker. The CQ surplus conversion manual's S meter circuit works surprisingly well. You can see it located in the upper left hand corner of the receiver. Be careful to insulate all the exposed wires because they are at B plus. Now that you've seen the modifications, let's see how the receiver works. We'll just tune around the band here a little bit. Settle on CHU Canada. And we'll try to crystal filter. The crystal filter tends to cut the audio level down a little bit. I don't know if that's because mine's not properly aligned or if that's just how the crystal filter works. But every BC348 I've owned is just about the same. You can tune it and get the audio better. I prefer just to leave the crystal filter off. We'll switch the receiver from the AVC to the MVC mode. Adjust the gain. Turn on the BFO. Tune down to the 40 meter band. The receiver's performance on the 40 meter band is pretty good. It's not that bad in copying CW. We'll try it with the crystal filter. With these four simple modifications, the receiver becomes really a pleasure to operate. It's not a high performance modern communications receiver, but it's very adequate for listening to foreign broadcast or using on uh, amateur AM or even some CW conversations.
The low impedance uh, output transformer makes driving a speaker a real advantage too. If you do have an original one with a high impedance transformer, you can always use a pair of high impedance headphones with the radio. We'll tune up the band a little bit. Back off the RF game. And now you can see that the receiver can copy a single sideband conversation. Pretty good that it could do this considering this receiver was never designed with sideband in mind and does not have a product detector, it just has a standard envelope detector. Additional information and pictures of this project can be seen on my website at www.ka3ekh.net.